What do you know, 40 ounce of fear? What do you know about taking your puppy and a 40 of old English in your bug out vehicle covered in bungee cords? What do you know about that? Anything? I think you know nothing. Nothing about it. You know, and I think I think you've never put a puppy into a bug out vehicle with your 40 and done a little test run into the hills. Yeah, that's what I think. Actually, I'll go, I'll, 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 whoa! That's outside of my experience. Oh, we got back in. Never mind, I'm right back to where I started. I'm right back into full knowledge central. Right in the green zone. You know what I think, uh, 40 ounce fear? Whoa, my God, my world's coming undone. Wait, wait. <laughs> hey, Ivan. How about stop, Mal? Uh, you know what? Never mind, Ivan. Zombie apocalypse, you're on your own. This is how it's going from now on. You stay in the bug out vehicle or you get left behind. But it'd be awesome. It'd be awesome if you got in. 40 ounce fears would do it. Or 40 ounce fear. Hop in the bug. <laughs> Alright, Ivan. Seriously. <laughs> Hop in, bud. Hop in. Hop in. Yes. Totally. We're totally going to avoid the zombie apocalypse now. There goes mass transportation. Rightly feared. Unlike 40 ounce fear, who doesn't know about putting a doggy and a 40 into his bug out vehicle and running for it. I, I was, actually, where, where did I leave off? Oh, yeah. Not only does 40 ounce fear know uh, nothing about this. He knows less than nothing. Actually, walking by 40 ounce fear would remove your own knowledge of such a, of such a thing. Don't worry, he's going to wrap himself around a telephone pole soon enough. Whoa, buddy. Oh, please let that be the thumbnail. <laughs> Yay! Oh, what is it? It's okay. Oh, yeah, liking the bug out vehicle. Whoa! All right, 40 ounce fear. You gave your uh, your top of the line. What's what's the the ultimate malt liquor? You said St. Ives. I don't know. You may have said something different than all the ultimate. Oh Lord. But uh, it's the granddaddy, it's the Mac Daddy. Um, old English, not old English, St. Ives. I've already had a couple 40s. It's a holiday. Um, you're right, dude. You're absolutely right. You don't know anything about putting a puppy into a bug out vehicle and bugging out with a uh, 40. Absolutely nothing. Less than nothing. You suck knowledge out of other people who know something about this topic. But, about the St. Ives, absolutely right. Uh, 20, like 23 years ago, I had my first malt liquor. And it was a St. Ives, and it tasted like death. Uh, and then, you know, I, don't know, I had another one. Because uh, actually, I didn't have any money. I barely had enough money to eat back then. But, you know, a fellow wants to drink beer. A fellow wants to get rid of the pain of being a man, you know, at 21. Ah. And uh, <laughs> my neighbors, not only see me drinking a 40 uh, in my neighborhood, um, but uh, bugging out vehicles, puppies, mayhem, craziness. Um, 
All right, so I go and get my second 40 of St. Ides, which gives me a headache about halfway through. And, uh, well, I finish it, of course, because I'm a man. But uh, I mentioned one of my friends, uh, who, my friend who turned me on to 40s and uh, malt liquor. Uh, he's from uh, Holland. His name was Jakob. I called him Yap. I said, Yap, I've had 1.5 40s of St. Ides. They make me sick. He's like, no, man, you got to go, uh, go with the homeless go. Um, because then they're fresh. The 40 you probably had was years old. And I'm like, well, how do I know where a homeless go? And Yap's like, well, look for, look for 40s in the gutter. Uh, look for lots of homeless, of course. And look for the most run-down, cheap, convenience store you could possibly imagine in an industrial district. And that will have fresh 40s for you. I'm like, all right, yeah. Yeah, I can barely understand your English, but you sound like you know what you're talking about. Ah. So before this became illegal... <clears throat> Because, uh, you know, the downtown area of Portland, Oregon, uh, cracked down on the 40s. I went to Old Town. And I got, I got me a 40 of St. Ides. And I held it up to the light. And the light, the light gleamed through it. And it looked like starlight. It looked like constellations that haven't been discovered yet. It looked like the future of possibilities. And I cracked that St. Ides. And I held it to my lips and I did this. <sighs> Ivan. 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 There you go, good boy. And well, I, uh, I tasted a fresh St. Ives. Hold on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Uh, or do what you want. You're my dog. You should have some initiative. Some, uh, some independent spirit. So, Yap was right. And, uh, and St. Ives was right. Because, actually, St. Ives got, uh, St. Ives, uh, broke ground. It was uh, in stores long before any other malt liquor was in, in stores. Um, it put beer in stores and kept it beer and kept it in stores long after it was good. It was virtually poisonous by the time I got to it. Um, and only as people start picking up on the the inexpensive bang that was malt liquor that we started getting fresh St. Ives. And then so fresh St. Ives started pouring into the stores. People started, oh, this doesn't give me a headache anymore. And then, you know, then other people kind of moseyed on in and, uh, and enjoyed uh, uh, the fruits of uh, St. Ives' victory. So, you know, it's, is it the best? Is it the worst? It's, it's none of those things. It's a trail... It's a trailblazer. St. Ives blazed the trail, paved the road, laid the cables threw down rails, invented anti-gravity, uh, made pulse engines, uh, you know, spread out uh, uh, sail ramjets so that uh, you know, micro amounts of, uh, of particles in space could be collected, uh, thrown together, the explosion could be turned into propulsion, uh, ships could reach light speed, we could cul uh, cultivate and explore other solar systems and galaxies and thus spread out and people the universe and know what peace is like and uh, uh, galaxy-wide uh, domination. Let's start with St. Ives. All right. Also, I, w I wish to note that uh, being one of... Uh, 40 ounce fears, uh, 40 subs. But so far, my, my position has been unassailable. And as a king of malt liquor, I realize that uh, very few people can knock me out of that.
Um, and they haven't tried. Uh, but here's the thing. Say you're out there, out there, you people out there in the tubes. You're not a king of malt liquor. Say you'd like to be. Well, one way to prove your kinghood, one way to get crowned, is to knock the Earl out of the subscription box, our, our subscription uh, a repertoire of 40 ounce fear. You might you send him a video saying, I want to be one of your subs, and uh, I understand you have to get rid of somebody, and I think I think you should be Earl, because I think I'm better than Earl. And here's my video to prove it. And you just lay down a video and you prove it. Of course, I reserve the right to lay down a video that proves that I am actually a king of malt liquor, and uh, my video that I make to your video is better than your video by roughly uh, one billion percent. Like, not only does my video remove all information of your video ever having existed, uh, but probably your whole gene pool right back into uh, Cro-Magnum Man. I may let up there. I may let, let up at fish. I may not remove your gene pool right back to where it uh, was in the ocean. But I haven't decided. I might actually do that. Right down to the microorganisms. But, I don't know. You don't, don't worry about it. I mean, he who dares greatly uh, attains great things. And he who fails at that gets wiped from uh, the multiverse and history by me. <clears throat> All right, 40 ounce fear. I'm going to put my puppy back in my bug out vehicle with my 40. And I got to remind you that you don't know anything about that. I got to remind you that you, uh, by walking, by you walking by people who know a little bit about it, you suck their knowledge out and it does you no good. And uh, it removes their knowledge. So you're a walking vortex of, uh, of anti bug out puppy 40 ounce video. Uh, uh, of knowledge. You're anti-knowledge as far as that goes. Yeah, fair enough. Probably for every every 10 people uh, you suck the knowledge out of, uh, my, uh, my knowledge and ability grows tenfold. I become more powerful until I become... the one. All right, malt liquor label out and H-Strung uh, masturbates horses.